introduction and other, I would like to uh, thank to organizers for an invitation and uh, <coughs> the study of cylinders uh, originally comes from the study of uh, uh, alpha and geometry and then one can interpret this to a bidirectional geometry in projective variety in particular the singularity of pairs and uh, today's talk is based on the, this series of papers with uh, Jihun Park and Ivan Chelsov, and it is posted on the archive and uh, will appear in somewhere in near future. Actually, the, our project is not complete, but uh, uh, but uh, uh, the project is not work in progress because we tired from the remaining parts of problems. <laughs> And let me first define uh, cylinder. The definition of cylinder is not depend on the defined field, but for simplicity, we will work over a complex number field C. Okay, uh, let S be a normal projective variety, and a cylinder in S is a Jaritsky dense open subset in S such that it is isomorphic to a G close C1 for some affine variety. And if the variety X contains a cylinder, which is a C1 cross Z, isomorphic to C1 cross Z, and then X should be rational. And we'll focus on, on the rational surface cases. Then the G is uh, just a smooth rational fine curve that is a pure minus finite many points. Because uh, if uh, G is, uh, the genus of G is greater than zero, then it is not rational. <coughs> Let me give uh, very basic and simple examples of cylinder. In P2, let it take an arbitrary line, and then just uh, deleting a line from P2, then it is by definition C2. So it is, of course, C1 cross C1, it is cylinder. Moreover, we take uh, arbitrary two lines, and then first one delete L1, then we have a C2, then delete a uh, remaining L2, then it is isomorphic to a uh, C1 cross C1 star. C1 star is uh, C1 minus one point, one point. And more generally, let's take our K lines, which intersect in uh, single points in P2, then if we delete one line, it is a C2. Then delete the uh, remaining k minus one lines, then it is isomorphic to C1 clause, C1 minus k minus one points. It's very easy examples. And then let's also take a line and conic which is meeting uh, tangentially a single point. And then if we delete the line, and then it is uh, C2. Then the conic goes to the parabola in C2. It is uh, uh, the deleting this conic is uh, C1 cross C1 star. And then, moreover, take a cuspital cubic curves in P2 and take a line to be a, a tangent cone of cuspital cubic, which meet a uh, cusp with multiple three. Then if we delete the line, then C2, and the C, uh, the cusp of the cubic is going to be a, like a equation of y is x cubed. So by deleting this, uh, it is isomorphic to C1 close C1 star. And more complicated examples in P1 cross P1. And take a one two curves, which, is, which has a self intersection number four. And then Actually, exactly two tangent, tangent one zero curves. Uh, take, uh, take one to be a T, and then the uh, tangential intersection point is a P, and then take a L to be a one zero curve which passes through the P. And then P1 cross P1 minus these, these, cu these curves, C and T and L is a cylinder. To see this, First, we take a blow up at the point P. 
then when <coughs> then we have these pictures, E is a minus one curve, and T by and L by is a minus one curve. Uh, proper transform of uh, this blow up of uh, T and L, and then these two curves are minus one curve. So contract this T bar and L bar, then we have uh, P2 lies in the pi E and pi C bar is a uh, line and conic, which is tangential limiting at the point. So, so this complement is a cylinder, so it is isomorphic to a the surface of degree 7 minus E and T bar and C bar and L bar, and it is isomorphic to a P2 minus N line and conics. Oh, it is a cylinder. Yeah. And then, if we, has a, we have a cylinder, then if we blow up boundary of a cylinder, then the cylinder remains after the blowing up. So every known example is uh, Actually, no, every known example are uh, constructed by this way, by uh, these kinds of uh, basic cylinders. And uh, we, one can prove that every smooth rational surface contains a cylinder. And then, moreover, we can uh, find uh, the boundary as an uh, ample divisor. But the singular rational surface can cannot have any cylinder at all. There are uh, some examples of uh, no cylinder. OK, let's, let's to, uh, explore to obstruction to have a cylinder. Let S be a rational surface with a quotient singularity. And U be a cylinder, it, which is a Zariski dense open subset in S such that the C on cross Z Z is, C is just a pure minus uh, some points. Then we have uh, this commutative diagram. The cylinder is uh, embedded in S, and cylinder is uh, embedded in C1 cross P1 and in P1 cross P1, and take a projection to P1. It is a projection of a second vector. P2 bar and P2 and PZ is a projection. And let uh, a psi is a rational map induced by uh, this projection map. And then we take a uh, resolution of singularities and resolution of indeterminacy of this psi. And then we have morphism as tilde to phi. Yeah, P1, it is a P. And let CI be a irreducible curve in S such that uh, it is uh, lies on the boundary of a cylinder. It means a complement of a cylinder is a union of uh, these curves. And then these curves generate the divisive class group of S because the cylinder of cl divisive class group of cylinder is a zero. So the length of divisive class group is a uh, bounded by n, this number of components of the boundaries. And then let E be a phi exceptional, this phi exceptional curves, and gamma be the section of P2, this map, is a, just a one section of uh, P2 bar and complement of C1 cross P1 in P1 cross P1. And let this tilde to be a proper transform of the curves of ci and gamma on the uh, this surfaces tilde and then gamma tilde is a section of this map p this is a yeah induced uh, section of this here and the the curve gamma bar is a uh, one of the curves of ci tilde or exceptional five exceptional curves and then, and then the others, other than the section, then they are lies over, it is components of some parables on this map. So we can assume that gamma tilde is a C, C1 tilde or gamma tilde is a one of exceptional curve. Then when we can calculate the discrepancies, uh, the, the, uh, the discrepancy of this 
here, here, and it is a sum of mu i, e i. And then F, let f tilde to be a general fiber of this p, the morphism p. Then it is a, by a Odegaardian formula, it is a conic bundle. It means a k intersection of k and f tilde is minus two. And put f to be a f tilde to be map this phi. And then we can cal calculate the intersection numbers. If uh, gamma tilde is uh, one of uh, exceptional, then we have uh, this formula, this equation, minus two plus mu r. Mu r is a coefficient of uh, this. Then it is, uh, as, uh, it is equal to the KS intersection of Ks plus sum of lambda i, ci, and the f. And for the gamma tilde is a, a boundary divisor, then we have this equation. So if this divisor, Ks plus sum of lambda i, ci is pseudo-effective, then the intersection is non-negative. It means uh, here. So, so the divisor is pseudo-effective, then this lambda r is greater than or equal to two, while lambda one is greater than or equal to two. So by the upshot is, is the following. If the Ks plus sum of lambda i ci is pseudo-effective, then the log pair, this log pair is not log canonical. So we have a corollary. If a rational surface with a pseudo-effective canonical class has only Cauchy singularity, then it can cannot contain any cylinder. Because we assume that it is this, just it is this thing. Then the KS is pseudo-effective, then the, the surface has not low chemical singularities. So low chemical singularity is uh, 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 coincide with the uh, uh, Cauchy singularity, and most Cauchy singularity in the surface cases. So we have the this calorie. So there are many kinds of uh, this rational surface with the Cauchy singularity and uh, having uh, uh, so the effective canonical class. Maybe many people in this room has no ma knows many examples of such kind of thing. Or in the previous CI, maybe contains quotient of singularity. Yeah. CI itself contains the quotient of singularity of S. It may, yeah, it in may. In this case, then maybe it might be another problem. Uh, no, no, just the, just the, uh, you mean this corollary? You, you are saying that this corollary are coming from the just above statement, right? Yeah, we just erase this one. Yeah, but uh, what I'm saying is that something like, uh, Two ci meet at uh, one point, but uh, that is the singularity of the surface S. Yeah. Then pure is not a canonical. Yeah. So maybe you can go up and. Uh, 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 I don't know. Because you consider it's a pair. So anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, later. I'm just <laughs> confused. <laughs> Yeah, this is an example proposed by uh, Kola. It is uh, let AI be a positive integer and the WI be a weight. This it also a positive integer and satisfy this kind of conditions. And let S to be a client type hypersurface in weighted projective surface with the weight WI and defined by cause homogeneous equation of degree this and uh, this is equation of uh, equation of uh, this hypersurface. Mm -hmm. And uh, by condition of this GCD condition, we can easily see that S is well formed. Well formed means uh, it implies it is ovipole. And then by the junction, KS is uh, 
like this. And then if we the a1, a2, a3, a4 is greater than or equal to 4, then this number is positive, so Ks is ample. And then one can show that the S is rational surface of pickup length 3 with four secret equation singularities. So it has no cylinder, any cylinder. And also rational log and linked surface has uh, no cylinder. It mean, mean by uh, uh, trivial anti -canical, uh, canonical divisor with uh, quotient singularities. And we want to uh, find an obstruction to be a, to have a cylinder with more fine obstruction. So we should, and then we should hunt the tiger. The let x be a projective normal variety with n most quotient singularities. A tiger on x is a effective Q divisor d such that d is numerically minus k and xt is not low canonical. The effective numerically anti canonical and low can not low canonical. It is tiger. And then uh, opposite side of uh, pseudo effective canonical class, the Mianish conjecture for the upper side, log delta surface cases, conjecture that uh, if a, for a log delta surface of pickle length one, and uh, it has a, it's a smooth local has a finite unlimited covering, then it contains a cylinder. But it Kieran McConnell negatively answered the, was this kind of problem. Uh, he, uh, they, uh, they have constructed a low delta surface of Chicago length one such that they have no tiger and their smooth rows have trivial algebraic fundamental group. Uh, then it has no cylinder because uh, assume that it, it, this kind of surface has a cylinder, then it, it is a, because uh, the Picard length is one uh, and uh, uh, the U be a cylinder and uh, S minus U is uh, some di divisor. Then the, this is a Picard one, length one, so some positive rational number, it is a uh, this is minus k. We can tell it is the lambda such that it cure nearly. So by previous observation, then for this lambda d, this is trivial. And S and lambda D is not low chemical. It means it, it is tiger. So it is uh, this constructed surface <laughs> does not have uh, any cylinder. And <laughs> oh. and uh, this observation is uh, we think uh, uh, overqualified and. We want to throw away the condition of uh, smooth loci has uh, uh, ethyl cover. So, yeah, let me explain later. Uh, and uh, for a <coughs> for a Gorenstein surface cases, and uh, we we think of type surface with singularity type two D four and two A three five plus two A one and four A two. Then, then, uh, then it has a Picard length one because uh, the minimal resolution has a uh, uh, Picard length nine and then contract, uh, contract this four curves. So it has a Picard length one. Uh, yes, and then by similar way of to prove uh, this, has, uh, this has no cylinder because uh, we proved that uh, there has no tiger. And these are only Gorenstein low surface without any cylinder. Actually, there are about 
250 kinds of singular types in the Golden State Low Depth Surface cases, these only three has no cylinder. And the other Golden State Low Depth Surface contains a cylinder we can prove. But yeah, it's very tedious to construct. Yeah. Okay, and, and then we can define polar cylinder. Polar cylinder is uh, just uh, giving a condition of uh, complement of cylinder. Let M be R divided on S. The M polar cylinder in S is a Zariski dense open subset such that it is a U is a cylinder. And, and also there is effective R divided D on S with D is a numerically M and uh, uh, so complement of support of D is a cylinder. Yeah. And then we can define a cylindrical ample cone in ample cone in S. It is uh, the set of uh, ample divisor such that there is H polar cylinder on S. There's a cylindrical ample cone. And the cylindrical ample cone can be empty. For example, a rational surface with quotient singularity having a pseudo-effective canonical class. On the other hand, the cylindrical ample cone is not empty for the surfaces. S is a smooth. Yeah. <laughs> and then, for first, the uh, first result is uh, done by uh, done in the smooth therapeutic surface case. So I'm sorry that this is an, we should exchange this sign in sign and not in. This is, here is not, not in. Here is in. Uh, let S be a smooth therapeutic surface of degree D, and if degree is uh, less than or equal to three, then there's no exist of anti-canonical cylinder, anti-canonical polar cylinder. And if degree is uh, greater than or equal to four, then there always exists uh, anti-canonical polar cylinder. Actually, as I said before, the study of cylinder is, uh, comes from the affine geometry, which is studies uh, automorphic groups, which is generated by unipotent group actions. Actually, uh, Plana and Jaidenberg first questioned questioned the affine cubic threefold in C4 does admit regular additive group action there is a first non-trivial question because uh, they proved uh, that uh, the surface has a rational singularity depend only if the surface has a uh, admit the regular additive group action. And uh, so this affine surface is, uh, has a rational singularity. So it is a question. It is, uh, uh, mm. in surface cases, it is uh, equivalent, rational singularity or in the admitting an additive group action. So, yeah. And then, Kishimoto and Prokop Chaidenberg prove that the, the existence of a polar cylinder on X, it is equivalent to the existence of additive group action. on a fine cone defined by this polarization. So 
the, uh, the existence of regular additive group action on this paramic cubic threefold is equivalent to, uh, uh, to the, the existence of a minus k power cylinder in cubic surface. So this theorem exactly shows that, uh, exactly uh, gives a, a negative answer of this. So the answer is no. So. And then to prove non-existence of K-polar cylinder, and we should, uh, we need some uh, fine obstruction. Let S be a Korenstein Delpel surface of degree D. And suppose oh, S. Sorry. What is exactly the definition of a regular additive group action? Uh, these are just uh, unipotent group actions of us, like a. Uh, it is not diagonal, mm -hmm. and uh, there is yeah not diagonal group actions. So uh, regular, I, I forgot the <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the finish. And this K plus cylinder, that is an effective Q divisor. D is a Q linearly minus K and the uh, complement of support of these uh, cylinder. Then this should have a tiger on S. And moreover, there exists uh, another tiger D prime such that S D prime is not low canonical at the point P. And there is a anti-canonical divisor such that S T is not low canonical at the point P. And uh, the support D prime does not contain the support of T. To see this, I show examples. We should, to show that the uh, uh, non-existence of cylinder, we should uh, have to deal with every point. There is no, no such kind of things for every point. So in, for a cubic surface cases, there are some kinds of uh, tangent type plane sections. It is a cubic curve, like uh, uh, nodal, well, three line, and uh, three line meeting sing single points, and uh, line and conic, line and conic. Mm. Oh, the cost. This is uh, only hyper t uh, uh, tangent hyperplane sections. But uh, this one, and this one, and this one is already tiger. So we should have, uh, we should prove uh, this kind of things. So I show example of this, these things. It is very simple. Let D is a tiger, assume D is a tiger such that D does not contain uh, some one of content component this L2, L3, L1. And this L3, L1. Then we assume that D is a tiger. D entry section L1 is just one. But by the definition of non low canonicity, it is a uh, greater than one. So any tiger should contain every this component. And for this and this these cases, we proved uh, just uh, there is no tiger. It's the uh, uh, most difficult part of the proof. <coughs> and then we we'll move to a mildly singular Delpes surface case. Uh, this uh, Gorenstein Delpes cases. Let SD be a Delpes surface of degree D with at most dual singularities. Then the anti uh, cylindrical amplicon contains anti canonical class if and only if one of the following conditions holds. 
if a degree is greater than equal to 4, then there will always exist cylindrical. Uh, for every, uh, uh, <coughs> there will always exist anti chemical polar cylinder. In case of degree 3, then SDP and D is just should be a singular. It means, uh, except for smooth one, there will exist an uh, anti chemical polar cylinder. In degree 2 case, SD has a singular point type that is not of type A1. And uh, in degree 1 case, it has a singular point that is type of A1, A2, A3. It is an expected one or D4. It is a very surprising part because we think we actually should we have constructed uh, cylinders, minus K polar cylinders in A4. So we usually think uh, D4 is a most worse singularity than, rather than the A4. So we tried to construct D4 cases, but it turns out it has no cylinder, anti chemical polar cylinder. And I give a con most diff complicated uh, examples. It is a delta surface of degree win one with uh, A4 singularity. First, we start two, li uh, two lines, this one in L1 and L2. Let's uh, take a 90, uh, 49 over 30 L1 plus 41 over 30 L2. Then it is anti canonical numerical anti canonical divisor in P2. And then take uh, 13 blow-ups. The order is uh, important. The order is uh, indicated by this 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, and, and so on. And then the important thing is uh, the induced uh, anti chemical divisor is uh, just uh, in the case of uh, blowing up of uh, 13 points in that surface, it is uh, this whole divisor is an uh, anti chemical divisor in that surface. It is effective. The important thing is effective. And then contract this divisor. And then the, we have a weak delta surface of degree 1 with uh, these 4 minus 2 curves. The, this thick line is minus 2 curves, and the line with the dot at the end it is minus 1 curves. And, and then yeah, then this is an uh, anti chemical divisor. And then contract this minus two curves, we have a uh, uh, surface with a four singularity. And uh, this minus two curves lies outside of cylinder. So it has also cylinder, the singular the surface of degree one with a four singularity. Uh, yeah. And then we move, we move the general polarization of the piece of piece. It means uh, uh, beside of anti canonical polar, anti canonical divisor. To do this, we need uh, some definition of uh, low pairs. For low pairs, we define Fujita invariant of uh, this S in A by uh, infimum of lambda such that the uh, uh, R divisor KS plus lambda A is just pseudo effective. It is a pseudo effective threshold. And then take a small to extremal phase it is, uh, that contains SKS plus mu A is called the Fujita phase. The, uh, uh, it, it lies on the boundary of a Morricon. Yeah. And uh, Fujita length is uh, just the dimension of this Fujita phase. And note that uh, length is zero if and only if uh, KS is uh, uh, Fujita invariant times A. And actually, this Fujita invariant and the Fujita length is not fa uh, uh, popular. But recently, it is uh, some, has uh, some focus it. Because, uh, for example, uh, actually, Fujita defined this invariant, uh, minus sign of this invariant as a uh, Godaira energy. And then 
uh, it is very useful in the study of uh, Manin's conjecture on the repair surface, which studies uh, rational points, number of rational points. And recently, uh, some uh, study, there is uh, some study of this Fujita invariant and Fujita link uh, uh, for studying the uh, balanced line boundary in front of varieties. It is done by uh, Hasset and Shinkyar and Tanimoto Lehman. Yeah. <coughs> but uh, for, <coughs> for Delpeth surface cases, this is very simple. Let PA is a contraction given by the Fujita face. Then the, the, this map PA is a bilational, which is called the type of BRA, or this is a conic bond with uh, Z is a P1, we call the type CRA. And then conic bond case, which factors was F1 or P1 cross P1. And, uh, if H is type of BR, vibrational type, and the uh, EIBR minus one curves contained in the Fujita phase, and then KS plus UH is numerically sum of AI EIs, with uh, AI's uh, range in zero and one. We can write this. And for the conic wonder cases, uh, the length is a nine minus D, and uh, there are zero curve B, and eight minus D, this joint minus one curves, this one. And it's contained in a distinct fiber. And we can write this. Ks plus mu ac is numerically ab plus sum of ai ei. ai is ranges in zero and one. a can contain, uh, ten, can very big in these cases. It is positive. And then we have a uh, partial results of, uh, uh, it, in this case, it is uh, not partial, it's complete answer. Uh, and let SD be a smooth surface surface of degree D. For degree D is a uh, range is in four and nine. The cylindrical ample cone is equal to ample cone. It means uh, for every ample divisor, there is a cylindrical, uh, there is a forward cylinder. For cubic surface cases, the cylindrical ample cone is ample cone minus bilational type with length zero, this one. It means uh, it's just a uh, multiple of, uh, some multiple of uh, anti-chemical device. Except for the multiple of anti-chemical device, it will exist for any ample device, it will exist a cylinder, a polar cylinder. Uh, yeah. This is a partial result of non-existence result. Let S D be a smooth repair of low degree case. T is a less than or equal to three, and H an ample R divisor with the Fujita length R. Then cylindrical ample cone intersection of bidirectional type with length zero to three minus D is empty. It means. Uh, for example, these two cases, there are no H polar cylinder when the H is a bidirectional type of length zero and one. And there are some uh, existence result. At SP smooth surface surface of degree two, then cylindrical ample cone contains a bidirectional type with length three to seven. And uh, for the conic bundle cases, length is uh, three to six. It means, in degree two cases, length is zero and bidirectional type cases, zero and one, there are no cylinder. And length is three to seven, there always exist the cylinder. So what we did not prove is uh, length is two cases. Actually, we tried many times and then we gave up the construct cylinder of uh, the length two cases.
argue some, yeah, example of the best surface of degree two case. Degree, for a smooth delta surface of degree two, it is a double cover over P2, which is ramified along a smooth plane cortical. And then the effective minus K is a pullback of line. So there are some specific lines which intersect the smooth plane cortical. It is a cuspital, uh, Tangent line at the ordinary inflection point, inflection point with multiple three. It means uh, the line intersect with a smooth plane cortical with multiple three. Then the pullback of this line is a uh, cuspital rational curve in delta surface of degree two. And uh, there are some hyper inflection points. It is a multiplicity four line with the intersecting smooth plane cortical. Then the pullback is a technodal curve. Actually, this inflection points uh, comes from the intersection of a cortical curve and with the Hessian. So the del Hessian degree of del Hessian is uh, six. So maximal inflection number of inflection point is twenty four. So and uh, the intersection it has a multiple root. Then it give, it it is a hyper inflection point. So the number of Inflection point is uh, uh, actually uh, all the number of ordinary inflection points plus two times higher inflection point is 24. And then actually exactly two frame curves without any ordinary inflection points. It has only 12 higher inflection points. So it means uh, very uh, general delta surface of degree two has a cuspital rational curve. Yeah. And then I give uh, this general cases and example of general cases. Uh, that I give an uh, example of type of P three, bidirectional type of length three. And then we assume the surface has anti-cuspital cuspital Q. Then. We can write KS plus BH is A1, E1, A2, E2, A3, C. So we have this diagram. It is not, P, sorry, it is not vivid. I took a picture in rainy day, so it is dark. So <coughs> we have a cuspital, we assume that there are cuspital less less, rational curves, and exactly five zero curves passing through the P and does not pass through the E1, E2, E3. Then we take a anti canonical divisor. It's a minus one minus two epsilon c, and uh, like this. But there is a here is a minus sign, so it is not effective. But the complement of these all curves are cylinder. To see this blow up at the point of this p. And then we have a weak delta surface of degree one because the cos goes to a minus two curves. And we have uh, exactly eight minus one curves here. This, uh, this minus one curve is a proper transform of uh, this zero curve. This, this is an uh, exceptional curve of uh, point blow up at the point P. And then contract uh, these eight minus one curves then we have a P2 and line and cone it, which pass, passing through the tangentially. And so, in this case, we can write this. The, we have anti canonical div divisor, it is not effective. And some of this, the mu H is uh, this divisor, the coefficient of E. E1 is uh, A1 minus 2 epsilon, and these things. So let's take uh, epsilon to be uh, very small. It is uh, uh, less than the A, A1 and A2, A3. Then it is an uh, effective divisor. Yes. So 
the uh, and the, the complement of this divisor is a complement of this divisor in weak Delpel surface of degree one, and it is isomorphic to a complement of uh, this line and conic in P2. So it is a cylinder. Okay, and then for for the case of which has no cuspital cubic curve, uh, cuspital rational curve, then we place on the tech with the tech nodal curve. So and then we can prove that, that there exists uh, H polar cylinder in the case of bidirectional type with length three. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>